much. Kellingley Colliery in North Yorkshire is the largest producer of coal in the UK. Two million tons of it are cut at the so-called super pit every year. But its safety record has been questioned recently. Three miners have died at the mine in the past four years. Charlotte Leeming has been given exclusive access to the site to explore the conditions for the hundreds of miners who work underground. And she's at the colliery for us now. Very good morning to you, Charlotte. Good morning, thank you. Yes, Kellingley is one of the last few deep, uh, remaining deep coal mines in the UK. Many of these places closed down in the 1980s and 90s. In its heyday, coal mining employed around a million men. Today, that figure is something more like 3,000. So what is life like for the 21st century miner in what is still a very dangerous occupation? Well, I was given exclusive access underground here to try and find out a little more about it. They've been producing coal here since 1965. It's one of the few deep coal mines left in Britain. It once employed over 2,000 men, but over time, technology and machines took many jobs away. The present workforce is made up of around 700 men, and I was given the chance to join some of them on shift to see what working conditions are like in today's coal mining industry. Well, I've had the safety briefing, wearing all the protective gear, of course. There's no turning back now. Time to get into the shaft and uh, to go down 800 metres. Let's see how it goes. It takes just a few minutes to get underground, but we're still a long way from the coal face. Next, the miners have to travel five miles by train. It takes at least 40 minutes for this leg of the journey. And miners were keen to tell me that safety was still paramount in this job. Safety is the most critical thing about uh, about mining, and that's the from the start of the shift to the end of the shift every day, and uh, you know that's what people need to focus on. All that in control. After some safety checks, it was then on to the next mode of transport. Yeah. And just lay down on your on your stomach. For the last thousand meters, we travelled on what's called a man-carrying conveyor, which turned out to be a fast-moving and very bumpy ride. And then, after just a few minutes by foot in sweltering heat, I got my first sighting of the coal face. Whilst the heavy machinery does the cutting, it's still very much the miners who are in control of this complex operation and there's no room for error. I asked Andrew McIntosh from UK Coal why in this day and age men are still being injured or dying at work. We work extremely closely with the HSE, with the trade unions and with all of the workforce just to make sure we are as safe as it can be. Our investment has doubled on health and safety, um, huge amounts of money go into the best equipment possible. So. We're doing everything we can, but we just need to be vigilant every single day. Coal mining isn't as labour intensive as it once was, but despite advances in technology, it's still physically demanding stuff. Hours spent in dark and dirty chambers, some filled with explosive gases. But the miners I spent time with wouldn't do anything else and think it's an industry that needs support. I personally think they should be investing in the coal industry. It'd be a good place to start training people up, fetching apprentices in, giving people hope, giving people a job. They should be opening coal, it, coal pits. It's thought this mine has the potential to produce coal for at least another 10 years. Everyone knows this is an extremely dangerous job, but many people feel that accidents and fatalities should be an aspect of the country's mining past and not its future. Well, UK coal there insist that safety is a priority and they recently introduced new measures, health and safety measures across all their sites in the UK. And spending the day with the miners here, they seem so unfazed by the risks that they face day to day. That's just part of the job. They say they don't want to do anything else. This is a good job, a job for life and a job that can uh, help communities and be passed on from generation to generation. So at a time when coal mining is facing a very uncertain future, miners here say they are unwilling to see this industry go without putting up a fight. Yeah. All right, Charlotte. Thanks very much indeed. Charlotte Leeming reporting. When you went to bed last night, did you sleep on the same side of the bed as 
you do normally? Do you swap over? I don't know. Do you, do you check your emails, perhaps, last thing, or read a book? Or did you take a teddy to <laughs> Because apparently, 